Hi everybody, JJ here with ASUS. And I wanna give you guys a quick update in terms of what ASUS is doing to support the latest generation of AMD Ryzen series CPUs, specifically Zen 3 or Ryzen 5000 series CPUs on our B550 as well as X570 series motherboards. First up, let's go ahead and confirm that all ASUS B550 and all ASUS X570 series motherboards are gonna be fully supporting AMD's latest CPUs. All that will be required will be a corresponding UEFI BIOS update for those respective motherboards. Now in regards to all current 500 series motherboards, we're currently revising our production process. And essentially what this means is that we are gonna be flashing the latest UEFI releases to support out of box Zen 3 or Ryzen 5000 series processors on all of our 500 series motherboards. Moving forward, all new motherboards that you're gonna see available in terms of the e-tail or retail channels will essentially be out of box ready for these latest generation series CPUs. Now, if you've recently purchased a 500 series motherboard, what you're gonna to wanna to do is actually check the corresponding serial number that's listed on the box. Right next to that serial number, you actually find the version of the UEFI that was flashed onto the motherboard during production. What you can actually confirm is that UEFI build and cross-reference it against the master list that we've gone ahead and linked in the description. This list will actually show you the current builds that are required for out-of-box Zen 3 readiness. Essentially, if the motherboard has one of these corresponding builds already in play, you're gonna be good to go. Now, with that noted, you do wanna make sure to still check the support site and download the latest UEFI BIOS that is available for your motherboard to be able to ensure the best interoperability, compatibility, and performance. Now with that noted, there might be two other scenarios that are gonna be applicable to you uh, if you're gonna be upgrading to a newer AMD CPU. One of them is going to be that you currently have an up and running system. In this system, you might already have a Ryzen 2000 or 3000 series CPU in play. In those situations, all you're gonna need to do is update to the latest UEFI BIOS and you're gonna go ahead and have support for these latest generation CPUs. We're gonna go ahead and link a full walkthrough video in the description down below that will guide you through how to flash the UEFI BIOS on your motherboard. Another scenario might be that you have the motherboard, but you don't have a CPU. In this situation, as long as you have an ASUS motherboard that features USB BIOS flashback technology, you will still be able to update the UEFI BIOS to the latest UEFI build that is required for Zen 3 or Ryzen 5000 CPU readiness. In these situations, USB BIOS flashback allows you to flash the UEFI BIOS on the motherboard even if you don't have a CPU, DRAM, or graphics card. All that is required is the motherboard, an active and working power supply, and a USB flash drive with the corresponding UEFI update file. Once you've downloaded the file and placed it on the flash drive, all you're gonna need to do is connect it to the corresponding USB BIOS flashback port on the motherboard, depress the flashback button, and allow the motherboard to complete the update process. Once that's complete, you'll be ready for the latest generation of AMD CPUs on that motherboard. So that wraps up our quick video on how ASUS is enabling support for the latest generation of AMD CPUs on its 500 series of motherboards. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to go ahead and drop them down in the comments section down below. I'd also recommend that if you're looking for information on AMD's latest generation of motherboards from ASUS, or you have any questions about PCDIY, make sure to check out our ASUS PCDIY Facebook group, where we provide lots of insights and guides and recommendations regarding our motherboards and a wide range of our components, as well as weekly updates for our motherboards in regards to the UEFI. Now beyond that, if you're also looking for maybe some supplemental content, trying to figure out what motherboard might be a good choice for you, also make sure to check out our EdgeUp website. That's edgeup.asus.com. Now last but not least, if one of you have a 400 series motherboard and are looking for applicable updates, make sure to stay tuned to our social media channels for an update that will be coming earlier in 2021 regarding UEFI releases for those motherboards. With that, take care, take it easy, enjoy the rest of your day, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video.